Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. This one's gonna be tutorial for hard ups and box cutter. Now, I'm doodling something here and I came up with an idea uh, of a video. So, you can just run an array to array something around, you know, a shape. And you will need to bring probably, um, let's say, a cursor in here. Then we would grab, let's say, a cylinder. Okay. And we would align it here with the surface. So somewhere here, and then let's align it all here on on Z axis, make it a bit smaller. And then if I wanted to, you know, align this perfectly, I could do that. And then I would just simply go to hard ups and mesh tools and, you know, radial array. And then I would need to, of course, change the rotation. So I would need to apply the rotation. Let's do it again, mesh tools and radial array. And then press X to switch it, right? And I could array this. But what if I wanted to, you know, um, just insert a few of them and in specific places so that I have to compute it, calculate it, and it's perfectly in the middle of these structures. You could adjust the array. Um, there are, you know, plenty of tools in here. You could adjust the angle, for example, etc. But uh, I want to show you a manual way of arraying with hard ups and box cutter, okay? So, whenever you have a pattern and uh, a pattern that's repeating, like here, you have the same size of faces just going all around this wheel. And um, uh, what we can do is uh, cut something with box cutter. So, let's go to D and um, select join and um, we're going to be drawing this uh, on this surface so what we need to do is enable this stamp dot uh, and when you press control with this wheel selected you will see that um, hard ups will display dots now the big one the fat one is in the middle so if i'm going to start drawing a circle uh, and then pull it out you see i'm going to create this kind of a cut uh, which is great so if i wanted to you know now um, repeat that cut in the same position, let's say here, all I need to do is use the same dots, you just hover over whatever area you want to put it in, and you just simply double click. So you hold control and double click, hold control and double click. And the cool thing about this is that, um, you know, you're not uh, really constrained to any area. All you simply do is repressing control and double clicking your mouse but you can put it anywhere so you can repeat that cut anywhere you want you know you can, you can repeat it in here right if i wanted to because it could be done with a custom cutter right so if i'm going to select this one and go to you know custom and press c to copy this you know i could do the same thing right so it's gonna be a little bit um, probably disastrous so now if I wanted to, you know, draw this, right, it's probably going to be a disaster because it's a complicated shape. Um, and it's going to take, you know, ages to cut through. But you could do that. And then you could repeat this cut uh, with uh, the same method. So if I had something more simple, let's say a box. And let's go to, you know, box cut and change it from join to cut. And let's just cut it a little bit and create some kind of a cool shape here very quickly uh, let's maybe copy this to both sides there you go and if I wanted to select this one as a cutter right so select this go to custom and then press C to copy I could actually use this one as a cutter so uh, let's just turn off battle here because it's gonna uh, cause some lags and you know i could just choose whichever dot i want let's say i want this one and then you can press r to align it right and you know you can cut it through like that right then you can run it around so boom all you need to do is simply uh, uh, rotate it because it's not rotated so we need to recover this right uh, and then you know rotate it on x-axis holding control so it actually aligns with the other cut but you could run a raise cut a raise uh, you know in this fashion um, if you if you wanted to and it's pretty awesome uh, you could create some really complicated shapes like this without necessity of arraying this um, so you know i thought it would be a cool tip to share with you guys anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did Links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description and catch you in the next one.